What is up friends? This is my second YouTube video. And so today we're gonna to be walking through how I created the art for my new single, Brain Dead with Tennis Club. It's actually like very interesting because there was a lot of different things going on, combined a lot of different elements um, and used a bunch of different kind of techniques to get this final result. But first, I just kind of wanted to walk through some of the um, versions that didn't end up like making the final cut because like this one specifically, I was all over the place. Like I did not know what I wanted. So here are a few of the old um, ones that didn't make it essentially. This one was kind of like the first idea I had and I, I really was feeling it, but then I just kept second guessing myself and then eventually went like a completely different direction. And it was actually once I got the video, which is what made me decide to switch it up because the video just looks really cool. Another one, slightly different layout. This one was kind of crazy all over the place. Honestly, really dope. I think I would have been happy with any of these. Literally, even after this final one that I have now, I was considering doing another version, but the timeline just like wouldn't work out because we had to submit it to Spotify and everything. Um, so yeah, so let me walk you through how I made this. So a couple things is this was made like using real fisheye lenses and I also printed it out. Um, and scanned it back in. I can walk you through how I do that too, um, but then we can also like walk through how to do it without without an actual fish eye lens because they're super expensive. Though you could probably get one for like an iPhone pretty cheap, honestly, and then scanning it and printing it, which again, if you just have a cheap printer scanner, which is what all I have, honestly, it's not too bad. Yeah, so the way this came together was we filmed a video for Brain Dead with me and Tennis Club, we were on opposite coasts. My sections were filmed in Philly and their sections were filled in LA because that's where they're based. And this was kind of the final video. These titles were actually like going to be on the art but kind of just didn't end up getting used so I decided to put them um, in the video. So as you can see, these are all like really, really cool fish islands or like, yeah, fish islands shots. So what I did was literally just like find my favorite section. So for my um, screenshot, I think was like towards the end of the video. Yeah, like around here. And all I did was just have it paused. So let me pause it like that. And then legitimately all I did, screenshot. Control shift four. Do not be afraid to screenshot stuff, especially if you're gonna put like crazy effects on it, you're not gonna know. The quality is honestly pretty good. If it's good enough to be on your screen, appear on your screen, then it's good enough to, uh, you know, be in the art too, cause it's gonna be no bigger than that size. Take the screenshot, throw it in Photoshop, and then I combine a screenshot of theirs as well. And I believe I have the original one like underneath somewhere. So let me, yeah, so this is all it was, was me just combining the two screenshots like this. And then I printed it out, scanned back in, and this was the final result. Um, a little tip with scanning and printing and stuff is you wanna print it actually kind of small because if you print it too big, you're not really gonna see that print effect too well, like because it's actually gonna be like pretty high resolution. If you print it small, then you kinda get more grain. And you can kind of do it to taste, like however big and small you want, just to give it more or less um, grain and distortion. And then I did the same thing with the title. And then if you just combine that, we have the final art, which ended up looking like that. Uh, and so pretty much all I did was, yeah, just flip it around a little bit. Um, and then I mirrored this one corner, just so there was something in that space. And then I actually like, I didn't even really crop this because I kind of liked how it had the square around it. And yeah, that's how I kind of came up with the final result. And so that's how you do it with, um, you know, if you actually have like fisheye footage or photos and printer scanner access, but I can now walk through how I would do it without access to those things. So now that you see how I did it, like with my kind of practical method, um, printing it out, scanning it, using actual fish eyes and stuff like that, we can now kind of figure out how to do the digital version of that. So we can use this press shot I have from a shoot with Anna Kobla. She's such a good photographer. And so the first way, I think the best way I know um, to get a good fish eye in Photoshop is to use sphere eyes. And so what that does is kind of just map it to a sphere, as you can see when I zoom out. 
So I'm gonna go kind of like in like that. Let's see. Um, then we can kind of do, mess around with the settings. I think I like normal best. And then boom, that kind of gives you like a bit of that um, circle effect on the thing. You can play around with all the different distortion things because a lot of these can kind of also help with that effect. Once we have this, we can also kind of distort things a little bit because we're going to be not, we're going to be adding like that circle, fisheye circle effect um, on the outside. So it's not going to look exactly like this in the final version. So we can try one or two things like we can, um, I'm holding control right now to skew the sections a little bit just to get that effect looking a little better. Okay, cool. So we have this. I'm kind of liking how this is looking because we are going to switch it up a little bit too with some extra effects. But yeah, so we have that like that. And then what we're going to do is there's a few different ways to do this. I think right now I'm thinking the easiest way is to just go um, with this elliptical marquee tool. Make a circle, hold shift so it makes a perfect circle. And then just make sure it covers everything that you want to include in the actual final photo. So yeah, we have this. Now I'm going to select inverse so that everything around it is what I'm going to fill. Just fill it with black. So boom, that already is looking way more like a fisheye. And you're going to want to do a couple things just to make it a little bit more of a realistic fisheye effect because the lens will kind of have a bit of a blur to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Gaussian blur like that, make it a little bit softer. And then also we're gonna include an outer glow cause I don't know, I just noticed when I was looking at fisheye photos, a lot of them have this kind of like little blue tint around the edge. Since this background's blue, it's probably not gonna stand out a whole lot, but I think it's just like an important little element. As you can see, when I did outer glow there, you can kind of see it along the side. I like doing blue like this. Yeah, again, it's not gonna show up too much, but then set the blending mode to color burn. And that kind of gives you like a really nice, that's like what the actual fish eyes end up looking like. So let me show you a reference of like the actual stuff we scanned or the stuff I scanned for the actual cover. And as you can see, let me just drag it above. See, it's got this nice little blue haze around it. And I kind of dialed that down with some color color editing and stuff, so you can't see it as much, but it kind of looked like that in the original. So boom, we already have like a nice fisheye effect here. And all we did was sphere eyes from the filters and then added our own little circle around. So now that we have this, that's pretty much your fisheye effect. There's a few different other parameters you can do for um, fisheye. I can try one more just to show you. So there's this one, it's actually lens correction, but you're just gonna kind of take it the opposite way where you're not correcting the lens, you're actually making it um, more distorted. You can do something like this. I look like, I look like Wreck-It Ralph or something when I do that. You just have a little bit more control over what your final photo looks like so for example I kind of want my head big because that's like the that's the effect I think kind of looks cool with the fisheye it was it's kind of like the big head effect almost you can work with these parameters and you can even add like aberration which is kind of where the colors split a little bit and it, it's like a nice authentic kind of lens effect and you can zoom in to see that a little better I'm gonna hit okay on that and that's another method let me look at the two and see which one I like better. So yeah, just as a reminder, one I used lens correction, the other one I just used sphere eyes. I think lens correction actually kind of gives a more like wonky effect, uh, which I like. So let me just zoom in a little bit so you can't see the edges of the photo. Beautiful, and then let me move my head down. Cool, I kind of like that. I think it's a cool effect. And so next what we're gonna do is try to give it that scanned look like the final version has. But again, I really think the easiest way to do it is like practically. So you could even just go to Staples if you don't have a printer, print it out at Staples, scan it right back in at Staples. I, I think it's like literally maybe like 50 cents or something to do and you'll get like a really cool effect. But if you're in a time pinch or you're just trying to do like a bunch of different things, um, I would just, recommend using some textures. So I have my design pack um, that has this cool print texture. I'm gonna go, yep, textures. And it's kind of like this nice 
printed texture. I scan like black ink, so you kind of get that nice grainy effect. So all I'm gonna do is just put it over top. And then I'm gonna set it to screen. And then I'm gonna bring the brightness up so you see a lot more of that uh, grainy texture. That's already looking like really nice. And then one last thing I think we can do to get that final effect is we can turn up the vibrance a little bit so that'll just make the colors a little deeper and more colorful. And then I think we should add grain to this fish eye. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna convert this to a smart object. And we can do a few different things, but essentially what you want to make it look like is that it's actually printed on paper. Um, so you can go to the filter gallery and there's a really nice green filter already. So you pretty much, I'm just going to turn the contrast down a little bit. And I like the clumped green type because it's kind of like a bigger green, it just looks nicer to my eyes. And so this is going to work together with that texture to give like a pretty nice, actually authentic um, print effect. So let's hit OK on that. And then boom. So I think that looks pretty good. Just to recap, we're just using the fisheye effect on like a photo using either lens correction or sphere eyes. Then we're adding a texture overlay and then we're adding grain to work in tandem with the texture um, to kind of give you more of a printed effect. Um, so yeah, so that's how you would do it without a printer, a scanner, and fisheye lens. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think there are definitely like cheap ways to do it with a fisheye. Like you can get an iPhone fisheye or something and then literally just go print it and scan it at Staples. I've done it before. It actually works surprisingly well. Just make sure you're printing it small so that the grain actually appears because they have nicer like printers obviously there. So this is for my song Brain Dead. It's out June 2nd. I think this video will probably be out after that. So um, yeah, go listen, go stream, and thanks for watching. Awesome. Thank you guys. Let's start over.